Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze sign in logs, which is basically the events uh, which are generated when an user or an application tries to sign into Azure Active Directory and it is stored in a data set called sign in logs. And we are going to use same Microsoft Log Analytics demo portal to achieve the same. Now, to start with, we will start typing in sign in logs, and the intelligence gives us the full sign in logs. And as a part of the next step, we will try to take one and hit the run query to see if there is any data at all. And we should see the data coming here, and we can see the data available here, right? And once the data is in here, we will take basically one more column over here to analyze the details around this. So once we expand this and look at the data sets, which is really, really huge, right? And as I mentioned, it is the log generated when user try to sign in. So as a first step, we should try to write something on the user. So we say sign in logs and basically we try to summarize the count by the user principal name and the time filter is defaulted to 24 hours. So if I click on run and uh, you know you can see there are a lot of users who are trying to log in here and there and uh, you know we have different counts available with us. Now, if we try to change it by location, all right. Uh, so what we're gonna do is for ease of understanding, we will comment out the user principal name and try to find it out by location. But this will give the same metrics like the user principal name, like account based on location for 24 hours, but what if if we want to go to more granular so in that place we will use a function called bin and in the bin we define the time generated field to capture the time blocks and we also mention do it for every hour right so let us try to run this query and see how this looks like now once we run this we should see the results coming in and as you can see it has basically you know uh, created a new row for each location on an hourly basis right now this tabular view might not look very familiar but when we try to put that into a visual representation with render and because we have used the time segments we can go for time chart right and let us try to run again and uh, once it is running, it should be finished. And you can see basically this has given a time break or time-based uh, graph for each location used here. And based on uh, our choice, it is going to show us the details as well, right? So that was around having a location as a specific details or a little more drill down on the sign in logs now we are going to pivot back again into sign in logs and once that's executed and kind of coming to a result we're going to expand and uh, this time once the result is in we are trying to find a column which is not directly available rather it is available you know as a part of an array inside one of the results and conditional access policies is one of such fields so if we expand this basically this is a array wherein all the conditional access policies are logged in now to understand in a detail level what we could do is start writing the next query wherein we would say sign in logs and we would use MB expand. So MB expand basically does what it's 
expands an array and uh, try to break you know an array into multiple or multiple rows now because there are many rows just to understand the query we would take one as an input and try to MB expand and let us try to run the query first so we are running this for only one sign in log but when we see the results we can see they are basically 13s that means for each conditional access policy it has created a new row as a result when we do the MB expand now if we scroll down and we see conditional access you see instead of multiple ones it's basically you know only one row so it's each row broken down from the array and what we see important here we would pick up the display name and the result which will basically define the name of the policy and the result was it applied was it not applied etc now to do that we have to extend them as a specific column in the data set right so we going to extend and we say conditional access display name equal to conditional access policies dot we can exactly copy this display name and paste it here and we copy the whole line and repeat the same for just the result as well so we got to give a good name to the result and we just type in the result here now if we run this query what will happen is we can see there are new columns getting created with ca underscore display name and ca underscore result which will show the specific details out of the array into the result set but one thing to remember that these are only happening real time that means the actual sign -in log still stored in the same way where all the conditional access policies are basically clubbed as an array so i'm going to say wait and it's coming here and uh, what happens here as you can see see a display name and see results are showing differently now because we are going to apply now summarize right so we are going to get a count by ca display name comma ca result and try to bin it with same idea of breaking the time frames into an hour for last 24 hour but if we run this this is going to show us error because we are using summarize as a column but uh, these are line number 11 and 12 are kind of dynamic values because they have come out of string sorry come out of array so first thing we should be converting them to string and we just apply the string in the queries and make the query a little readable and uh, we just take out the take one because now we're going to run this for all the sign in logs and this time we are going to render with a visual call column chart now let us run and see how they look like and the result is about to come but you can see every every policy is here on an hourly basis and each policy has a success failure and all other different count yep so that that was about it